Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our study in, I was going to say foolproofing your life, but that was the last one. <laughs> Lord, I want to know you, study on the names of God, uh, written by Kay Arthur, which is a devotional study. And uh, we are going to be spending the next few weeks, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, as people can jump in to study together, look at God's word and to understand his name and what that means to us and how that applies in our life and what we can, um, how we can live victoriously in this world. So before we all start, I am going to pray. So let's do that. Heavenly Father, we are so honored to be in your presence today. We are delighted that you are a loving father who cares intimately about all of our ways, about everything that is in us, that you desire for us to be intimate and close with you, to hear your voice, to know your presence, and above all, to live in ways that are very healthy and helpful for us and that bring you glory and praise. Lord, we live in such times that our, our uh, people's faith is being shaken and people's uh, hope in the things that they have placed their hope in this world are crumbling around our ears. But we know, Lord, that you are sovereign. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are God Almighty in heaven. And we are so excited to start this study to learn your name which which uh, shows us who you are and who you can be relied upon to be eternally and uh, how you act in this world on our behalf to bring us to you. Oh, dear Lord, as we open this study today, help us keep focused on the work and uh, not to get distracted by what is going on around us or uh, what might thoughts might come to our mind about the world that we're in. But Lord, help knit us together in, in love so that we can be helpful to one another as well and to hold each other up uh, when we stumble and, and to um, be a support when the times of grief and trial come. So Lord, take this study and use it for your benefit, or for our benefit and your glory. In Jesus I pray, amen. Okay, so um, the, uh, if you read all the preface and everything like that, my book is different from yours because I started in the old book, and this is what it, mine looks like. Um, and uh, I think I might have to buy another book so that I can be in the proper place along with you uh, because mine is set up a little bit differently. So... Um, I just want to read what's in the front of mine. I don't know if this preface is in your book, but it's in mine. This is this is a message from Kay, the author. Do you long to be used of God? This book can be the means of fulfilling that longing. It can be used as a companion for your individual study or as a guide for group study. If you choose to work through this book on your own, you'll find that you can complete this rewarding study in just six weeks, 42 days. So that's how long we'll be together. <laughs> Before you begin to pore over its pages and search the scriptures to see if what I have written conforms to his word, ask God to show you with whom you're to share these truths. And uh, that's what I did in, in, um, in deciding upon this study. That's where the inspiration what came to lead this one came from. As he directs you to a friend, a prayer group, a Sunday school class, a group of hungry teens, or especially to your own family, begin a study of the names of God. Okay, so this is how you can use your study with others. This is not for us to hoard this knowledge for ourselves, but to share with others to bring them hope and comfort and to show them who God truly is. Um, set your own pace, adapting the length of the lessons to the capabilities of your group. At the conclusion of each study of a name of God, you'll find questions to guide you in group discussion, which we will use in this class and probably on Fridays. As you study, begin practicing the art of hallowing his name. Have you ever thought about that? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. What does it mean to do that? I'm the kind of person that asks all these questions. <laughs> 
And, and I want to encourage you to keep a notebook handy um, while you're doing your study. I've got this one here um, I got from Staples. You can use whatever you want. I, I've used, uh, you know, I used to have a lot of school book, you know, type books, and I used those uh, earlier. But I like these better because they go in my purse. And I can write all kinds of questions down. I can write prayers down. I can write prayer requests, um, observations from the world. I, I just keep that all there. Okay, one last thing. Would you write me personally and let me know how God has used this book in your life? It will thrill my heart. That's Kay. Now, I don't know what her first edition was, but she must have received a lot of information. Let's see, 1984 is when she wrote this. Okay, thank you for filling, fulfilling 2 Timothy 2 and 22. Love, Kay. Okay, so here is... Um, here is in, I don't know, do you have this in the front of your book? No. No. Right. Okay, it says, and those who know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, O Lord, has not forsaken those who seek thee. And that's from Psalm 910. You might want to write down that reference on your paper. Psalm 9 and verse 10. And then it's all the names of God that so we're going to be studying, God, that we're going to be studying here in this book. Okay. So what did we look at in the first day in your book, Adrian? Um, did you do the habit that I asked you to do? And here's something for the rest of you girls. When you come across in your book, like your workbook, this is very helpful to you because when we come back to discussion, I, I might be asking you to read scripture and rather than going flipping through your Bible saying, oh my goodness, where is that? Uh, if it's written here, just highlight that scripture uh, reference so that you can find it easily. So anyway, what did I ask you to do, Adrian? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> what was on the first day? On the first day. I don't remember. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit that's on my, it might not be in your book in the same place as is in mine. It says, where beloved do you run in time of need? When the hounds of trouble, worry, and fear pursue you, when the dogs of temptation, corruption, and evil seek to overtake you, when your energy is spent, when weakness saps you, and you feel you cannot run away any longer, where do you turn? Do you turn to your protector, the one who stands with arms open wide, waiting for you to come and bury yourself in the security of all he is? And then there's the scripture, Proverbs 18.10. Is that in your book there, Adrian? Yes. Read it for me. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to into it and is safe. Okay. For, for these 42 days, we are going to study the names of the Lord that we might know where to run to find help in time of need. So when I, I remember when I was when I came back to the Lord earlier, like in about 1988, and I was reading my Bible and I did not understand what this means. What does it mean that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is safe? And so I have been on a search my whole life to find out what the, this means. And the thing about God is that he plays hide and seek with us. He's not really hidden, but he wants us to seek him. And he, then he's delighted to say, here I am, <laughs> and show you what he means. Okay, so in Isaiah 50, verse 10, we have another verse. Um, Trust in the name of the Lord and rely on your God. And, and that's that, all it gives me. Yes, and that that is uh, Jesus' prayer on our behalf. And this is... When I studied John, the book of John, this became so precious to me. Uh, John 17, 3, Jesus prays for his disciples. And one of the things that he prays is there. Re read that for me. Hold on two seconds. Okay. <laughs> that, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. That is what Jesus prayed for us. That's what Jesus prayed for his disciples when they were there. But that is what he prayed for us too, because later on in the prayer, it says, and not only for these, but those others who will come after, right? Mm -hmm. And that's us. 
And um, so this became the goal of Paul's life. I'm just reading out of this book, okay? Yeah. So anybody could do this job that I'm doing. <laughs> Just That's so you okay. know. <laughs> and now I, I'm, I'm getting caught up here. Yeah, okay. So in Philippians 3.10, Paul's goal was what? That he would know God. Yes. That he would know God. Okay, so this study is going to be so precious to us because that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now I've got on the second day. Um, Mary, did you get your book out of the car yet? It wasn't in the car, so it has to be down in the basement. So I have to go looking down in the basement. Oh, I've my, got my Bible. Oh, my. I know. I thought it was in the car for sure. So well, no, I, I gave, didn't. I gave you one and it was in your purse. I know. I didn't. Uh, okay. Okay. So you still haven't found it. Okay. Never mind. I haven't found it. Okay. Never mind. I'm not going to natter at you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know, I'm I mean, my gloves come from. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Psalms 20, verse 7 says, and because Adrian's got the book there, I'm going to get her to read it. Some boast in chariots, some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord. Okay, so this is very important to us to study because particularly now in this age that we're living in and in this time that we're living in, and just for everybody to know if the time is not stamped on the screen when, when the recording is made, we are living, this is January. It's actually January the, the 6th or the 7th? 6th. It's the 6th. January 6th of 2021. And oh. we are in the second part of a, of a full year of lockdown where people have not been able to visit one another. I'm sure you know this. So I'm not going to go into that. But it's causing people... Um, to rely on things that ultimately I believe are going to fail. And our scripture tells us here, some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord, our God. And so again, for me as a person, I said, what is that name? <laughs> right? What is the name? And what are chariots and horses? And this is what we looked at in the second day. So, so what, what is, uh, and just so that you know, the Psalms are kind of poetic works, right? So you, if you look at this in a terms of poetry, think about chariots and horses in those days. What were they for? <coughs> Come and go where you need it to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what else would they, so just to come and go for where you needed to, but what else? With chariots in well, work, work. Well, they also used in war. In war, war yes. That's oh, right, right. right. So, yeah, in war. So, so <laughs> some of these movies that we've seen where the the chariots are all lined up and they're they're all on that side and they're coming towards each other. Da, 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 you know that whole thing. We've seen those movies, yeah. all of us, right? So. So some people trust in horses and some people in chariots, but we will rely on the name of the Lord, our God. So in our day and age, what could chariots and horses represent? Bible, the Bible. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will boast right. in the name of the Lord, our God. So what Man, we um, the government. Horse. Yeah. Yeah. Armies. Army. Army. Um, our vehicles to be able to get us to help us escape. No. So this is so this so 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 horses we think of transportation, right? So we yeah. it's it's a way of getting away from something, getting to something, um, all of that. Some people are trusting in those things, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Okay, so um, chariots and horses come in different shapes, labels, forms, but they're still whatever is uh, material, physical, whatever that we rely on to take care of us, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. So now, um, are these really a source of safety? And uh, Proverbs 30, uh, 21, verse 31 says... 
The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Okay, so this is very key and very crucial. This is so deeply important to us right now in this time. And knowing this truth has kept me with a really good sense of humor for the past year and with living without fear or anxiety. Why? Because horses are prepared against the day of battle, but what is the word? What's the noun? Safety. Safety is of the Lord. So it, it doesn't matter what comes against you. Um, it doesn't matter what what you rely on, your safety truly comes from the Lord. And um, that that is a wonderful thing because, uh, you know, here's the thing, that if you are relying on the Lord your God, do you think that he is going to abandon you? Even if you, I mean, okay, so the reality and truth of the matter is, is that he has put on each one of us uh, a time stamp for the number of days that we have and he knows only he knows the number of those days and only he knows what is contained in those days and he knows and has told us that all of those things will be used uh, for his glory and our benefit and no matter what comes if we trust in him we will be with him in glory when we leave this earth, when we get to the end of our time span, right? We're going to there. So, so many people, Christians included, are running to the wrong place for their safety. People Oops. are so scared. Yes, they are. And, and it's pitiful that Christians are very scared too. And if you're afraid, and I mean, there's going to be some people watching this, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to criticize or to cast aspersions on your character. I do want to encourage everyone who watches this after this class that you find out what the name of the Lord is and find your security there because the Lord God is eternal. And that means safety is internal, eternal you gotta leave it in his hand okay so i so Kay writes in the book why is it that they are immobilized rather than taking an aggressive stand in the face of fear it's because christians for the most part cannot boast in the name of their god okay so now the question is what do i mean when i say boast in the name of our god so uh, are you in that place in your book, Gislaine, that you can read yes. what she says? Okay, read to me. In the Hebrew language, the phrase to boast in means uh, to have confidence in, to trust in. Therefore, to boast in God's name means to have confidence in his name. In biblical time, a name represented a person's character. God's name represent his character, his attributes, his nature. To know his name is to know him. To boast in his name is to have confidence in who he is. Exactly so, is to have confidence in who he is. So, um, so this book is about the names of God which will show us the parts of his nature and his character in which we can take confidence. Aren't you excited to be able to know this? Because once you know this, you never have any reason for any fear, any anxiety, any wavering in your faith when you understand this. Okay, um, so we're going to continue on. And I just wanted to, we're just about running out of time. I got six, seven minutes, six minutes left to go. It says, um, in the day of trouble or need, we are to run to our God to put our trust in him. That is why he says, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. And that's from Psalms 50 verses 15. And here's a great question. Is your heart troubled in any way? 
Is fear of any kind lurking in the shadows of your consciousness? Do you feel insecure about anything at all? If the answer to any of these questions is in the affirmative, list your fears, insecurities, and troubles in the space below or in a notebook, which I highly recommend because then you have a notebook that you can go back and see how the Lord has answered your prayers. <clears throat> then take them to the Lord in prayer and ask God to show you in the days to come one of his names that will meet your particular need. Then when he shows you, tell him that you will boast in that name. So this is how we practically apply what we learn. So we don't just learn God's names for educational purposes, to, for knowledge's sake, but so that we can boast in his name and so that we can tell other people his name and how that applies in their circumstances because it applies in ours. So I'm going to, we've got five minutes left. I'm going to let you know what we're going to do. We're going to finish this uh, first, uh, we're going to do, we've only finished up to uh, sec, thir, second day. So third day. And the third day uh, is uh, on the study of Psalm 20. And we are going to actually do some inductive study methods by marking up the text. So it, here's what I suggest. If you don't have a Bible that you want to mark all up, you can go to BibleGateway.com and print out um, on a piece of paper, if you like, Psalm 20. And uh, there are some suggestions here of what to, you are going to do, because we're going to learn about boasting about in the name of the Lord. Uh, so today is Wednesday. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to go through this on the, the same pattern. I, I, I mean, it, this doesn't come with a leader's guide, so I want to break it down. Uh, we are going to take up uh, maybe uh, Psalm 20, and then I'm going to try and get through to the end of uh, days four and five. Okay, so we will take up, we'll finish up to days four and five in the book, and uh, we will meet together on Friday at 11 o'clock. And um, I think I'm actually going to upgrade. I'm going to take your suggestion and upgrade to the professional quality of Zoom so that we can have, we're not bound by 40 minutes as usual. Okay, does anybody have any prayer requests in between now and then? The, besides the ones we've mentioned? Not today. Not today. Okay, so we'll just remember our sisters that are in the Lord. Remember to pray for Angelus, who is in Halifax, and um, try to get her in on this study. She's got the book. And for Stephanie, I'm going to be meeting with her today. That um, sometimes when you're living alone, and Mary, you'll understand this, and maybe she's Lynn <laughs> and Adrian. Yeah, we we don't live by schedules necessarily. <laughs> so uh -huh. so waking up and getting your makeup on or whatever <laughs> yeah, first thing in the morning is not a part of the plan but yeah so anyway we'll pray. Oh, I, do it. I don't have the energy to do it yeah until yeah. later I used, to, I used to be up and ready to go by 7 30 makeup on showered makeup on everything but yeah. I yeah well, that's what happens years. when when illness visits us isn't it yeah, it does. Okay. And I don't like <laughs> anyway. I do have a prayer request okay. that I find my Bible and my book. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> for Friday, for tonight. I don't actually, I don't think it's very far away, my dear. I, I, I don't think it's buried that deep. Thanks. I don't think so either. I think it's right close at hand, well, I, but I just oh, maybe your Bible is. Maybe your Bible is. Um, they found, we found our Bible. Okay. I found I did find it that part. Okay. But, but you have the one copies, Bible. You have two copies of this study now. So when you find the other one, I want it. I do. <laughs> okay, so let's pray. Okay. I'll give it back to you. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, you are so good and so great. And we we read that your name is a strong tower and that the righteous run into it and are and are safe. And we we read that some trusts in some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. And that uh, your name is a safe place for us. It's a place of 
refuge. And so, Father God, I just pray that as we go through our study individually and come to meet with you, that you will inspire us to write down our questions that we have for you and 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 that we look eagerly towards your answers about how they apply to our living and to the way we're thinking and um, the way we behave in this world. And Father God, we know that you are so good to us to meet with us in this way. We trust your Holy Spirit to guide and direct us and keep um, keep us mindful in our hearts about the people that whose prayer requests we have expressed today and even more so as the days come and as the days go by. So Jesus, please use this study mightily and help us to become strong and courageous women of wisdom in your world. In Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, so ladies, uh, I'm running around today and I will see you on Friday here. Have a good week. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Bye, everyone okay, in YouTube land. Too, and safe I travels. To to you. Thank you. Okay. I need to talk to you when the meeting's okay. over. Okay, God bless everyone. Bye bye. Okay, I'll call you. Bye.